Hello Floss Tubers, it's Natalie, love it, live it, make it yours here and welcome to my Floss Tube channel. I know it's been a while, I've been asked by some of my lovely subscribers and my Instagram followers for a little update and I've um, not quite been feeling myself so I haven't been up to doing them but I've been feeling better the last um, couple of weeks so I thought I would get it together and knock out a video. But on that note, I wanted to say a really big thank you to my followers and my subscribers. It means so much to me. And I think it's better for me to just do a little video as and when I feel better so um, I can keep in touch with people. Um, but thank you so much. If you have um, been waiting for, this, waiting for this video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, so I'm going to do stick to my usual plan and do a life update, some shout outs, some whips and finishes, some stash purchases and I have got a little giveaway, just a little little giveaway to say thank you to everyone for um, sticking with me and tuning in. So my life update since my last video is that I'm back at work now. I was on furlough from... Um, from kind of when lockdown happened, I think 23rd of March, I went on to furlough and I went back to work 1st of June. It's been different, it's been different and I really struggled through lockdown. I am a people person, so being away from people has been really, really hard, which um, leads me on to, I think the 10th of October was um, Mental Health Awareness Day. And I think that lockdown has played a really big part in people's emotional well-being and their mental health. So I just wanted to say to anyone out there that's sort of had a bit of a time of it like I have, just do what you can do when you can do it. Don't beat yourself up about it if, and don't be afraid to say no. Do what's best for you when you can. Um, because I know that I've... I've struggled to, I've missed routine, I've missed my friends, I've struggled to get back into it after I'd missed it for so long, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, so that was just a little, um, just a little shout out to anybody else that's sort of been struggling along, and don't ever be afraid to ask for help, and talk, 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 it's really, really important. Um, my last bit of a life update is that the lovely Clue high heeled stitcher i'm sure that's what she's changed her name to on floss tube um the lovely charlotte has asked me to be her maid of honor and it is such an honor and i am so excited um that's that's going to be the highlight of next year i'm sure and it's a real positive because unfortunately our retreat has been cancelled understandably so because of the situation um, but yeah, so our retreat has been cancelled, so at least I've got Charlotte's wedding to look forward to. I'm really excited about that. And thank you, Charlotte, for asking me. It is such an honour. And I promise I'll be more organised for you and your wedding than I was for my own. Anybody who knows me, please do not comment. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to um, swiftly move on to shout outs. I wanted to say a big shout out to Fairy Floss. The lovely Faye. She usually does a video every Sunday. I know sometimes they come come out on a Monday or Tuesday when she's busy. She um, stitches some lovely things. She's quite a fast stitcher. She's also um, a girl after my own heart because she shops pre-loved and shares some of her stash purchases in her videos. So a big shout out to her. Um, I've really, really enjoyed her videos um, and I really look forward to them. So please check her out. I wanted to say a big shout out to Clue High Heeled Stitcher. I've written that down, so I really hope that is her new floss tube name. But if you used to follow her, Clue Cross Stitching, bit of a name change, bit of a revamp to be more, um, more true to her, I think. And it's a lovely name. Sorry, I keep looking down. I've got my lovely Kath Kidston. This is my floss tube notebook. So, um... Please check her out. Her videos are fantastic. I really enjoy watching them. And I wanted to shout out to Nads X Stitch. Her videos are also fabulous. She has so many. I'm a bit behind because I'm catching up with her videos. Um, but she has so many whips on the go. I don't know how she keeps up with them. I've no idea. 
I'm very jealous though. I wish I could. I used to be a one whip girl and now I've got, I think, 13 on the go. Oh, it's probably a bit more. The last couple of days I've started some Christmas um, Christmas gifts. So it's probably a few more now. Um, but I used to be a one whip girl and now I've got quite a few on the go. So I admire her and her stitching is beautiful. Her projects are beautiful. Lots of backs as well, which stands for big project i said it quietly just in case but i'm sure you got the gist um yeah so and uh, now i'm going to go on to my um whips and finishes it's all a mess so please bear with me um floss tubers bear with me i've got some finishes that i can't show you because they're presents um so yeah i think i'll start with finishes actually one of them i'm going to show you because i decided um, that I was going to record a floss tube today. I'm just going to record them when I, as and when I can, when I feel like it, when I feel up to it, because otherwise I'm just going to lose touch with it. And when I feel better, I'm going to regret that I haven't done any. I think my husband's just got home. I'm going to pause this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the husband had just coming in. He was coming in quietly because he thought I'd be recording, which I was. <laughs> Um, I can't remember exactly what I was saying because I've had a conversation with him in between then and now. <laughs> um, but I think I was saying that I've asked Charlotte, um, Clue High Heeled Stitcher, not to watch this video until tomorrow because I have a finish that I wanted to put on Floss Tube and I didn't want her to see it. <laughs> and I thought this video would probably upload overnight like they usually do, although I have got new broadband and I've just been told it's faster conversation i was having with her husband and um so it might not take as long as that but i've told her she can't absolutely can't watch it because i'm giving her this gift tomorrow um and i don't want her to see it until then until i actually give it to her so she had a stitch along to celebrate her birthday and the only requirement was that it had to have a shoe not even necessarily in it but if you could link your project to a shoe then it would work for her sow. She stitched and was stitching an amazing um, Halloween kind of shoe project that she had won from another floss tuber. And I found a lovely project that I thought would go with it. And then when I really started stitching it, I thought it should go to her. So here it is. This is my finish. I'm gonna try and get out of the way. Um, this is witch shoes, but me and my husband have been calling it witch shoes because of the question mark. Witch shoes. And if I talk about it, that's he's. I've said to him like, oh, I'm going to work on witch shoes today, and he's just been like, witch shoes. Um, so this is it's a bit shiny because I framed it already, and I found this frame in my lovely friend's charity shop. I mean, Charlotte, it cost me an absolute mint. Um, but I thought it went really, really nicely with the project. And obviously there are shoes in this. And I'm just going to look down at my notebook, I'm sorry. Um, because this is by, I'm not sure if it's MK Issa Creations on Etsy. Or M Kissa Creations on Etsy. Or just Mkissa Creations on Etsy. But she does some lovely, she only got a couple of patterns that, sorry about the glare. But they're really, really nice. So that is one of my finishes for Charlotte and I'm gonna gift that to her tomorrow and then she can watch this video sorry about that Charlotte um but I just love oh and the fabric I'm sure it was the April club exclusive I want to say and I'm sure it's called Coral Reef despite the the small details it's by KLT charting and it is perfect i love the blue and the orange i've actually made sure that i've put the um so i framed it myself because the lovely charlotte taught me how to frame my projects i actually made sure i put it lower down so that you would see some of that green i just thought it was perfect for a halloween project and um i did this stitch from stash which i was also really proud of but i knew that i was running out of um black dmc so Charlotte and I popped to our local craft charity shop and I just said to her, I'm going to try and get some black DMC. Not likely, but we'll see what they've got. The lady overheard us talking that there wasn't any. She popped up to me with some Anchor. It's just called Anchor Black or sometimes I think it's called Anchor 403. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, so she come up to me with a skein of, of Anchor Black and said, will this do? 
absolutely it's perfect so i've used it on this project and i've had some people say to me that they prefer it and now i'm a convert i actually ordered six skeins of anchor black that have just arrived actually and i'm really really pleased and i think the coverage is better i don't think you will see very well on this project because of the glare but you can't really see any any gaps um so i was really impressed with that so not only did i make charlotte um a little gift to go in her new house um i ex discovered anchor black thread as well which i am a convert to now so yeah i have got one more finish i can actually show you and i do have a couple of other finishes but they are christmas gifts so they will have to wait um i actually finished the cross stitcher um summer sale and i finished it um on time as well so i think this finished in july i think july it might have been the august issue actually but um i'm sure they came out may june and july might have been june july and august issues and i loved everything about it and i know faye from fairy floss was working on it at the same time um, I'll probably put in a still just so you can get a good picture um, of it but I so they released three three of the little squares um, each month and you stitched it and they did that for her for three months so that was month one month two month three and I just really 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 loved everything about it and I was really pleased that I'd kept up to date with it what i really love about actually going on a bit of a tangent here is that we are losing our magazines at a rapid rate we've already lost is it um cross stitching gold i think definitely we've lost cross stitch crazy um so i just think we should support the magazines that we've got left as in um world of cross stitching cross stitcher magazine support them cross stitcher magazine is my personal favorite um i just feel like they give you some really good freebies so this was a freebie you got everything i changed the fabric because i didn't want to work on 14 count um but you get you get all of the fabric and all of the floss are you i do use their floss and um you get your other gift as well so when they do their sale you get an additional freebie as well and it's such a good magazine i just feel like the content is so good um, but what I love about their sales is that it is open to your interpretation of what you want to do with it. So this came with buttons and beads and I opted out of the buttons. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to try different things. So we had to make a tassel. Just going to do a little um, up close here. I don't know how well you're going to see that. So I made a little tassel. We also had to stitch some um, twine into it. Some baker's twine, I think it's called. And... Um, it asks for French knots, but I do colonial. Don't waste your life with French knots. Do colonial instead. They, If you can make a figure of eight for a piece of string, you can do a colonial knot. That's how easy they are. It's got beads on it. Um, so lots of different techniques. But I also changed a lot of mine. So I changed where the flamingos are standing. Um, the water was a bit irregular and it had more flowers in it. So I just made it more so that it was consistent water. I added colonial knots on the cactus for detail and beads for flowers. I changed the look of the bumblebee because the original was quite a cartoon looking bumblebee. So I've done more of a realistic one. When I was stitching this section, it actually was my birthday and it's cake. Um, so I've written birthday in it. I think it was meant to say party, I think. Which would have gone as well but i didn't have a party <laughs> so i stitched birthday i've used the beads for cherries i changed the cakes around because i think some of it was meant to look like it, the cakes were kind of a bit saucy and a bit drippy um but some of the stitches were like above the cake um so i i sort of made tidied it up a little bit and put cherries on um and i put some fractionals in for my ladybird and I used colonial knots to make the bubbles in the drink and straightened up the straw 
and do some half stitches and put some back stitch in for the lemon i'll show you my back just because i haven't uh I haven't done anything with it yet i don't care <laughs> so yeah i've loved everything about it and it got me through a bit of a hard time excuse me a bit close to the camera there it definitely got me through a bit of a hard time um so i'm really grateful to it and i did go camping for my birthday when i was camping i would actually stitched this lovely lovely llama so it was absolutely chucking it down really chucking it down I was in the tent and I was stitching this lovely llama and it just I wasn't feeling great my husband did say you know we don't have to go but we'd booked it and last minute and been excited about it I said no let's go and actually it was well, it was nice and it's a nice memory um that I was sat in the rain in my beautiful tent listening to a podcast my husband was falling asleep but it's just a nice little memory of a time I wasn't feeling so great, but it definitely helped get me through. So they're the only finishes I can share with you because the rest are gifts. So now I'm just gonna go on to whips and then I'll go on to stash purchases and there's a lot of that because we're catching up, right? <laughs> um, so whips. I started a whip with Charlotte and I let her choose. I sent a couple of options to Charlotte and said pick one. And Charlotte picked for me this lovely Snoopy bookmark that was gifted to me by a lovely friend called Audrey. She sent it to me, um, which was so kind because I love Snoopy. And I can't do a floss tube video without mentioning Kath Kidston, even though it's totes not related. But Kath Kidston um i've obviously been going through hard times but i've been given a tip off by my friend who used to know somebody who worked there she probably still does know them i just mean her friend who used to work at kath kidston obviously they don't have shops anymore but she gave me a tip off that they were going to release a snoopy range in may obviously they went into administration lockdown everything and luckily enough kath kidston have actually released that snoopy collection which is at the top of my christmas list like at the very top of my Christmas list but I digress so Charlotte picked this lovely Snoopy bookmark for me that was gifted to me and I it's a very very poor start I mean very poor because I've just cracked on with other things Christmassy things but it's still it's still a whip I'm still showing it to you I'm gonna try and do more for next time we'll see we'll see about that we will see um my other whip is i've written i've written a note for this it is from cross stitch crazy issue 211 it's the january 2016 issue which i'm sure i featured on floss tube before put that down so i don't forget about where it is because i lost it earlier i was scrabbling around to find it for this video and this is the freebie and it's eventually going to be a Christmas decoration you turn it into a cone so it'll be a bit like that you can kind of see where we're going with it that's where his beard's gonna go there's his mitten and his belt I kind of wanted this finished for this year it's um I keep putting it in front of my face <laughs> I really wanted it finished for this year it's not gonna happen however I have decided that I'm going to do his moustache in fuzzy stuff. I've still got some white fuzzy stuff left over from when I did the Lakeside Needlecrafts um, stitch along, the Fantasy Sal. I do have a video on that if you wanted to go back and look. Actually, I'll show you what this should look like when it's done. Um, so I still have some fuzzy stuff left over and I'd like to stitch his beard in fuzzy stuff. Um, or we just decided on just doing his moustache. Um, but that's what he should look like when he's finished. If anyone, if any floss tubers out there have any advice on how to turn him into a cone or have finished him, please, please, please speak to me and let me know because the instructions are a bit vague and I don't know. I'm going to wing it unless anyone can guide me in the right direction. So yeah, that's I as far as I've got on my little Santa decoration. I also have done 
a smidge, a smidge of a bit on Caterpillar Cross Stitch Positivity Rule Sal. So I was kind of coerced into starting this sal um, by one of my friends. He wasn't too made up with it, so he hasn't done very much. And I know Faye has done some of hers, but she's put it on a um, back bench for now. She's going to go back to it. I do quite like it. I like the typography. I was hoping for some more detail in it. However, it is still a lovely sow. And I've done the window box and the flowers um, recently. So I, I, I will get to it um, and do a bit more. And I have the, I have the lovely matching um, needle minder. But I do like it, so I will get I will get back to it eventually, but I'm not sure when. Um, I also, I've still got all my other whips, but I'm just showing you the ones that I've done progress on. This is a secret project, and I can't really talk about it because my husband does support me by watching my floss tube videos, but this is for him. If you would like to know what it's going to be, or a picture of what it should look like, inbox me and I'll send it your way. But yeah, this is for him, and I obviously haven't done very much. But I will get there, and it's there's quite a nice meaning behind this. So when I get round to finishing it, which won't be anytime soon, I will talk about it a bit more. Um, but I just don't want to give anything away. And it's on a really lovely grey fabric that I got from the lovely Charlotte. I cannot remember what the fabric is called. I will look it up for you, but I know it's from Jodie Ree. So, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely fabric, lovely grey, but it's quite mottled. Can't really see that up close, but it is quite mottled. It's got some sort of lines, lines to it. So yeah, that's my secret project that I can't tell you about. Sorry about that. Still a whip, isn't it, right? Um, and last but not least, I am working. I'm just going to try and find something I can hold this up against because you might see all the way through it. I don't know, it might be okay. We'll go for it. That's all right. I'm working on the cross stitcher Christmas sal, um, which I'm really, really enjoying, and I'm trying to keep up to date with it. The next issue is due in the next two weeks or so, in about two weeks. Um, it's not coming before then because that'd be crazy. Um, I know. I think it's due on the third of november oh that's crazy saying that out loud because we are in october now aren't we so i will get it last week of october so two and a bit weeks um and i really want the next part done before it's before i get the next issue um i have changed this up again i've done some fractionals in there the l was meant to also be in red and i decided to do it in the yellow that is coming down here this is going to be a big star so I decided to use the yellow from the star, GDL. They're very generous with their thread, so I'm not worried about it. I've also changed the fairy. I'll put in a still because I do not think you're going to get a good quality image from my camera. Don't think so. But I've used fractionals on her. I've used gold sparkly DMC that I stole from Charlotte that she asked. She asked um, me if she could have it back I forgot I had it dug it out stitched this with it still forgot it then eventually gave it to her Stila. um but again I love um holding it up in front of myself you tell I'm out of out of doing floss tube videos um I'll get back into it I'm sure but I again I love everything about this try new techniques different stitches border I loved this band I Poor Charlotte was probably very frustrated with me because I asked her the best way to stitch it and she, I just couldn't understand the English words that she was using to describe the best way to stitch it to me. Um, so it's a bit of a mess, a bit of a mess, um, but it's okay. It's only for me. I would really like to get this done for 2020 because the 2019 one I finished in 2020, which is in a previous floss tube, but again, I love Cross Stitcher Sales. It is one of my favourite magazines. I am now a subscriber, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'll pop that with my my whips. So they're my um, 
Oh, now I've got one more to show you that I nearly neglected. This is, I don't know if I showed you guys last time, but just in case, I made a project bag. I think it is in my last video. It's specifically for this project and it's quilted. It's the first time I've made anything like it. I mean, it's not really quilted. It's got um, wadding in it to make it nice and chunky. Um, I'm sure it's in my last video actually, but I love it so much and I am quite proud that I made it. Um, but yeah, this, I've actually done loads on this since I last showed it to you. So I'm just tightening up my, everyone's heard me say it in previous Flossy videos, do not buy an R&R &R frame. This uh, was quite expensive, this R&R &R frame, clip frame, and it's very, very unreliable. I'll do five stitches on it and my fabric starts to, I mean, you can see that's not taut, uh, my fabric starts to go. If you buy any frame, Q-snap, Q-snap all the way, the lovely Charlotte brought me uh, 11 by 11 Q-snap. That's what Positivity Rules is on. And it's way, way better than this r and I wouldn't recommend. It's just personally me. I've heard different ways of, that you can tighten them up. But I think I paid something crazy like 20 odd quid, nearly £30 for this frame. If you're spending £30 on something, I don't want to have to um, find a hack for tightening the clips up, to be honest. I want it to just do what it should do. Anyway, rant there, bit of a rant. This is my whip. This is um, Into the Sky by Circus Stitches. You can find her on Etsy. And she has a Facebook page. And the lovely fabric is Going Fishing by the lovely Kim from KLT Charting. And it is perfect. It looks like clouds. I'm not doing it any justice here because of the lighting. I mean, it's not too bad a picture I guess but that's all the balloon strings done now so all it is is balloons all it is balloons house and the wording that goes behind it and I'm loving it it was a really lovely thoughtful Christmas present from my husband and I really really I just love it so much and it's a nice project I've been working on it over a year already I haven't got very far have I but I still really enjoy it I still love it I made my bag for it this year, um, so I like it. I'm just going to pop it away because I don't trust myself not to kick it, spill a tea on it, or whatever when I'm not um, when I'm not stitching on it. So I'll put it away before I ruin it. Um, but I think they are all my all my whips, and we're getting on a bit now. So I'm going to go straight into stash purchases and I'm just gonna I cannot remember what I brought when where or well I probably can remember where but um so I'm not gonna do it in any kind of order I'm just gonna pick stuff up show it to you and hope for the best so I'm still part of KLT's stash club I skipped a month or two because of lots of different things um but I'm lacking floss and I'm missing my hand dyed fabric so I have gone back to it but um, one of the bits I got I'm sure it's called Coral Reef that's on um, Charlotte's Witches project um, so that was one of them and I just used it for that because it was perfect the other piece I got is um, Luna Berry and that was the May so that was definitely April's that one that I think is called Coral Reef was definitely April's because this is May and it's beautiful and um it's 18 count i'll just i'll quickly get it out for you to show you very nice isn't it really really beautiful beautiful it's blues in there purples in there pinks and cream it's really nice i'm not sure what i'm gonna stitch on it yet but i always find um project especially because I seem to be doing more and more new starts which I shouldn't do but my friends will laugh at me because I never was the new start girl now anything I like the look of I start it yep and I was using uh tiny decisions uh random spinner to help me pick what whip I work on now I'm doing Christmas stuff but since since lockdown I've been working on whatever I fancy whatever I fancy I work on it 
so that's my lovely KLT fabric I don't usually subscribe to the part works magazines but I absolutely could I've just dropped some floss because one of these projects I want to stitch for one of my best friends for Christmas so I've tried to cut it up but I need to get some threads for it anyway anyway um yeah the, the part works collection magazines but I could not resist um Disney cross stitch I uh, I'm a premium subscriber. The flush just fell out everywhere. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't keep it in there. <laughs> um, I am a premium subscriber and I can't really show you much of what's in there because I'll be showing you patterns, which obviously isn't allowed. But if you like Disney, I recommend it. Obviously, it's licensed. It comes with um, 11 count fabric as well, which I'm not a fan of. Not a fan. I do have enough of my own fabric to kit it up so i'm going to think about it and decide what i'm going to do however i know lots of people on instagram that are stitching it on the 11 count with three strands which is what it recommends and it looks beautiful there's no denying it um that it looks beautiful but some of the patterns um you're not going to get anywhere else without subscribing to this magazine i will show you the back because there's no patterns on there but i am desperate for this it's a notebook cover and it's um aerial there's just so many, I just, I said to all my friends that I've told about it, were like, oh, but they're so expensive. Yes, they are. It does work out expensive. But I think it's going to be worth it. And it's no obligation. So you can cancel, even with a premium subscription, which means you get more free gifts. You get the free gifts up to the issue that you subscribe to. And then if you cancel, you don't get the rest. I think that's fair. I think that's more than fair. And the first, because I was a premium subscriber... I got this little box and all the tools were in it, a pot of needles and a lovely pot, um, an unpicker, a threader, a thimble, um, scissors and I have seen people subscribe to the, this before, similar things, not this um, one, um, but similar issues before that weren't Disney ones and the they were telling me they couldn't get their stuff in the box because the box was too small, the box was bad. Um, quality this is all really good quality stuff and it actually has disney cross stitch on the box and it's not even a sticker it's printed which i love i really love it it's all really lovely good quality stuff and when i recently went away to chichester it was perfect i took it with me and actually i was stitched on witch shoes i took witch shoes away with me and that was perfect it's really nice i really really like it so i am really pleased with that I know my lovely friend Dawn has subscribed as well, so we'll get to work on some projects together, which I'm excited about. I was going to speak to you guys about Cross Stitcher magazine, because I love it so much, but I think I've chatted enough about Cross Stitcher magazine <laughs> and how much I love it. Um, this is last month's issue, so I'm not I'm not going to flick through, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but it's, it's not in the shops now, so if you've got it. But, you know, I know that I pick up old issues in charity shops. This is a prime example. This is an old issue from a charity shop. Cost me a pound. Came with a free gift. Love, love, love. I wouldn't want anyone to flick through it because it would have spoiled it for me. So you might come across it in a charity shop or whatnot. But I am loving this right now. I um, spoke to my husband about how much I love it. He used to buy me a magazine a week. And he still would, I'm sure, if... I wanted a magazine a week but there aren't that many to buy now and I can't keep buying paper craft ones because I don't craft paper craft as much as I used to and the some of the stamps weren't really good quality they were kind of some of them were disintegrating after a couple of years and I really look after my craft stash so I do keep stuff for a few years um so I just sort of said to him and I sort of knew it was a clever plan and I said husband I'm not buying as many craft mags as I used to anymore, so please subscribe to Cross Stitcher for me and it will save you money and it will be the only mag I buy. He said yes, winner, winner. And so I get through the post now, which I love. Which I love, love, love. So I was going to chat to you about that, but I think I've gone on about them enough, I think. Um, I picked this up in a charity shop on my road. It's by the Craft Collection Limited. It was £4.00 which I think is a fair price for a full kit. Um, and it's on 16 count as well, which I love. 
that is the fabric provided and it's i'm sorry about the glare but i think you can just about see it's of a little otter um he stood on a stone and then in the background is all sort of water like a little lake and some bushes and my husband and i went for a picnic um once in our local park and we were sat by the water and we are quite sure we saw an otter and we know that they are rare i can't think of what else it could have been i've gone to see otters at the sea life center and new forest national park and we are i'm really sure it was an otter i like to think it was an otter it was quite far away but it looked just like it and it reminds me of that day so i thought i would stitch that up i picked it up put it down picked it up and my sister said, I just get it. You obviously, you know, you want to, you want it. So I got four pounds. I thought that was a fair price. Um, so that's pretty good. I went into a charity shop and um, the charity shop that I got this from. Sorry, if I remember where I, where I brought stuff from, I will tell you. Because if you're local, you might want to go in there. So this was from the Armed Forces shop in Gosport. If you want to go in there and have a look. Um, this little tin was 50p from the salvation army i try and support that charity more and more because every time i go in there usually i find a hidden gem or a little something um but the, i go in there and i volunteer for them not in the shop but i am a telephone befriender so i like to support them but i popped in there and this was 50p and it's such a lovely good condition tin quite vintage looking it's just like that little chubby bear with his honey pot i love it so much and there's a little apple tree in the background and I keep um, some bobbins in there, mini post-it notes, and my thread heaven in there. Um, and I really love it. That was 50p, Salvation Army. Um, I'm going to try and do all my charity shop ones first, and then I'll go on to other things. I picked this up from my friend's charity shop when I got the frame for Charlotte's Project. It is a very small cross-stitch kit. And it comes with all the um, fabric, but it's got beads. Um, it's got 18 count fabric. And it's called Victorian Strawberry Scissor Keep. I love strawberries. I love going strawberry picking. I love the vintage look. It was 50p. It's got everything in there. Even though it's open, I checked since it was open, but I checked. And I love that. And that's Revitalise Charity Shop um, in Bridge Mary. There is also one in Stubbington. They are all very good. Oh, and there's one in Leon Solon. Um, all of them are great. Um, this is a pattern pack for a Margaret Sherry alphabet, which I really, really love. It was 50p. It's massive. I didn't realise how big it was going to be. And I got this from the lovely craft ch charity shop Rowan's. But it's lovely. I won't bring it up close because obviously it's a pattern just wanted to show you what it looked like 50p i thought that was a good bargain looking forward to stitching that oh and this also came from revitalize for a pound soluble canvas i've been looking for some so i can stitch on denim jacket um for a pound brand new i was happy with that these next few purchases are not um, pre-loved so they're new stash purchases i got given a voucher from one of my children that was going to school for hobby craft so i got with um my husband helped me pick a dmc magic paper kit and this is the i think they call it the insect one but it is a bee it is just bees and flowers and i thought i could buy a nice plain top it comes with the floss with the um soak away paper i can't think what it's called now a dcf printed soluble paper um so i'm gonna make myself a little b top and i think i will do it across the shoulder like is in the picture and i got this one which is called flowers um this is more of an embroidery embroidery one but it does come with the dmc again and i like the idea of doing that on jeans so I will be charity shop hunting for some pre-loved jeans that I can stitch that onto. I went on holiday to Chichester only for two nights in a hotel 
it was just so me and my husband we like Chichester we like the Cine World there we managed to get into Cine World before they sadly closed again because I know they're really struggling because of the situation with Covid and the film industry is obviously not great right now but we managed to go and see Rocky which was um, really really good because it's a film kind of from my childhood and I know I watched it a couple of times growing up he had never seen it so that was great um and yeah we stayed in a hotel it was meant to be a four-star hotel but I've paid less for nicer hotels it was okay but I love the charity shops there I found a beautiful haberdashery slash craft shop we had some absolutely fantastic dinners out he really spoiled me with taking me out for dinners it was great um and yeah we just did some nice shopping um also oh, when i uh went to hobbycraft actually i stopped at hobbycraft on the way to chichester and i also got these two kits when i picked up the cross stitch and embroidery so i'll show you those and i think they're cute i love the little deer with the baubles hanging off of him the reindeer and the little fox with the snowflakes and the robin love robins at the moment that's why i love my cross stitcher cell so much because there's a little robin in there but yes so we went to um chichester and in the lovely um craft shop i will put uh the name of the shop in the description below because I, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called and i haven't got it written down anywhere um but i got this lovely kit they had dmc in there they had cross stitch kits in there they had embroidery knitting dressmaking oh my goodness anything that you can sort of relate to soft craft haberdashery cross stitch they had it and i like him i like this lovely little polar bear i make a christmas decoration every year this year i'm heading for three because i'd like to get him done i am off this week so maybe 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 i'll get him done he's got some embroidery on his jumper and he is a um i'm sure it's corinne lapierre um she's a she used to be on creating craft i don't know if she is anymore she does some lovely lovely kits um so yeah i'm looking forward to stitching that lovely polar bear with scarf and his jumper i also went to when i was in chichester we drove to a little village and i can't remember the name of it now it will come back to me um we drove to a little village and we had lunch there and the water it's surrounded by water and the water had come right up and some of the rodents flooded but they had a little craft um place there and it was like a little like a little shopping center but it was full of little places that either were selling pre-loved items handmade items crafted items um and they're all individual li little rented shops and it was really really lovely really really nice um hopefully the name of the place will come back to me because <sighs> it's gonna drive me mad um but we had a lovely time um in the little cafe that was there we had a lovely walk around it was just a really really nice time pub lunch as well it was delicious and i got this um vintage inspirations it says it's little pieces of genuinely old stuff to inspire your creativity it's got buttons thread embroidery i'm definitely going to make a little holiday collage out of it on an embroidery hoop and do some of my own embroidery on it it's got a massive big piece of like vintage calico in the back so i'm definitely looking forward to making something out of that i also got um fishbourne was one of the villages that we vis visited while we were in chichester because i've always wanted to go to the roman palace and never made it i made it when we went on holiday um with when i went with my husband and we went around the roman palace and it was phenomenal if you're ever that way check it out because it's absolutely amazing um and i when i went oh i also went to stonehenge when we went camping in july we visited stonehenge and i got a cross stitch kit from stonehenge i'm a bit gutted i haven't got it with me but i did say to my husband when we went to the roman palace 
just recently I said to him wouldn't it be amazing if they had a cross stitch kit of the Roman palace and they didn't but they did have an, uh, a tapestry kit of uh, one of the um, mosaics because it's please if you get the opportunity to go go it is fantastic and the mosaics there are obviously really old and they are absolutely beautiful and there's loads of little quirky stories I could tell you about it but if you go I don't want to spoil it for you but this is the sea panther and we saw it and I'm looking forward to stitching that up it's got all the wool in the back so yeah I'm looking forward to stitching that and their volunteers um cross stitch gifts for their gift shop and one of the things that I found interesting and I won't go into it because I don't want to spoil it for you was a mosaic of a little bird I brought a necklace a silver necklace with the little bird on it and somebody was selling cross stitch cards handmade with a little bird on it so I brought one of them so it's not a stash purchase really but I collect little things like this and put them in a display cabinet or display them around the room and I just really liked it so I thought you might you guys might like to see it um last last stash oh no two more st stash um purchases and I'm still trying to remember the name of the little village that I visited that had the nice little um crafty place in it I might just pause the video and find out for you in a second actually I'm gonna do that now sorry for pausing it again so the name of the village was Bosom um, so if you get the opportunity to go that way, it was fabulous. So we stayed in Chichester and we visited Fishbourne and Bosom. And I've been to Fishbourne before and I've all, I because I meet my lovely friend Dawn there. We usually meet there once a year. We haven't been able to do it this year, obviously, because of the situation that we're in, um, which is a bit sad. But I, I was grateful that I managed to explore there with my husband. Um, so yeah, we stayed in Chichester and visited Bosom and Fishbourne and a little tip for you There's loads of lush vegetarian. There's one vegetarian cafe there ded Dedicated to being vegetarian absolutely amazing loads of the restaurants there offer vegetarian options or have a separate vegetarian menu So if you are vegetarian, there's a little tip for you um, This is my last stash purchase for now and then I was gifted um, something I purchased this love embroidery magazine because I love this fox design and I've actually met the designer I went to Kirsty's handmade fair a couple of years ago and I had an absolute blast but I was really really lucky to meet um, the lovely designer I'm just gonna check what her name is in case you want to check out any of her if you like embroidery sh um, check out her Jenny Blair Jenny Blair if you like embroidery or just looking to try a different technique or a different craft Jenny Blair's embroidery kits are lovely and she does do other things as well but I actually met her she was a really lovely lady she's done some free kits for Molly Makes before which I've also enjoyed she also does some mini like toy kits they're not really toys but you like the soft felt um kits and I've got a reindeer that I'm desperate to make I might try and make that while I'm off as well actually so yeah this little fox is designed by Jenny um Blair and all the steps are in, I won't spoil it as I said I don't want to spoil a magazine because this is still in the shops um if you yeah if you want to try a new craft check it out it's quite a big project I think embroidery project but I'd like to give it a go anyway and it comes with um embroidery transfers of little mushrooms I love mushrooms especially the Kath Kidston mushroom print it's got that look to it so I will probably try and make something mushroom related and then I was gifted I it was so lovely my lovely friend gifted me this um bothy Fred's kit it, I'm so lucky that um it was sent to me bothy Fred's flamingo kit and I'm looking forward to stitching that that was gifted to me by the lovely Nathan he has done some floss tube videos but I know he's trying lots of different crafts he's quite enthusiastic about it so um he hasn't sort of put anything up recently but so yeah this wasn't really a stash it was gifted but I love it I love those um flamingos and thank you Nathan it was really kind and he's also been a really good friend to me 
in the last couple of months so thank you um nathan on that note i just wanted to say a big thank you um to dawn to anne to charlotte and um nathan and my lovely friend emma they're lots of friends that have been checking in on me and um that's what it's all about at the moment isn't it is just keeping in touch with people checking in on your friends um things are really really different right now um but those guys have um sort of been sending me messages and checking in with me so thanks guys it means a lot to me um but i think i'm just gonna call it a day um call it a day i'm just gonna check my notes make sure i haven't missed anything i don't think i have ah see i so glad i did because i have a giveaway um whoever i'm if only one person comments then i will give it to that person but if more than one person comments that they would like my little giveaway then i will do the random generator thing with numbers because i'm not sure how the youtube one works so i will just put your names um with it i'll give your name a number one to whatever chuck it in the um random generator number generator and whatever number comes up if it matches your name you will win if you would like to this mini um camper van glasses case kit i have seen other people make key rings and stuff out of it so please do what you'd like with it it's got the fabric the threads and the ada i've got the pattern i will put in the pack for you um so just leave me a comment to say you would like the um camper van and if there's only one person they'll get it if no one comments i'll give it to a charity shop and if more than one person comments i will do a random generator this is just i would gift it to somebody i've tried <laughs> either my friends have got it or it's not their cup of tea which is a-okay i totally understand um, but I'm sure someone out there might like it. Um, so yeah, just let me know. And it might be yours. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I opened my little my little notebook for that. Um, but thank you, thank you for joining me. I hope this video hasn't been too bad as I'm getting back into it. A couple of pauses here and there just to show you some things. I might insert a couple of pictures um through the editing process, but thank you for joining me um i don't know when the next video will come um might be soon might be later but if you stick with me one will definitely come i would love to do a pre-loved um haul video as well because i've been still picking up my some lovely kath kidston bits um my jumper actually it's got little apples on it i don't know if you can see very well um but that's a crew collection jumper i was like saw it in a charity shop and thought yeah i'll have that because i thought it was quite cute with all these little apples all over it and i just thought yeah i'll have that um and it's from cr the cr crew collection got it home i thought I'd just you know be a bit cheeky have a look it's still when i checked 50 quid <laughs> in store i paid six pound for it Ch chichester charity shops are great anyway um thank you for joining me thank you everybody um any tips for me just pop them in the comments below and i will um read them Take care of yourselves and each other in this difficult time. And if you need someone to talk to, just drop me a little Instagram message. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye.